Hi everyone, my name is Mazimba Mazimba and I'm a civil engineering student here at Georgian University of Science and Technology, ZUSD. Right now, I'm going to hold an interview with the president of the university, Mr. Yen. Mr. Yen is here to give us more insight into the university and tell us what efforts the university is making to ensure that the education standard is improved and also tell us more about the partnership that the university is making with other universities outside the world. So after this interview, a video will follow through in which I will share with you more about your personal life here at ZUST and also in China as a whole. Mr. Yin, what, uh, how has been your experience here at uh, Zhejiang University of Science and Technology? Uh, well, uh, I arrived in this university two years ago. I became uh, one of the members of the UST. I was lucky because uh, I like, I love the campus. I love the mountain, the tea garden, and the library, the people, and in particular, I love the faculty members and students. What what are the teaching faculties doing and the lecturers doing to ensure that they are teaching the new students uh, very well and information that's in the industry? Well, uh, during the last few years, uh, many efforts have been made by our university. Uh, for example, we uh, invite uh, 50 or 70 uh, new members, faculty members, to join us from all over the world uh, to join us. And these new uh, professors, doctors, and join us, they, they are active and they can teach the students in different languages. And also, they will show the students the modernized uh, uh, laboratory and uh, the very uh, high-level teaching lectures and training students in the laboratory with a very modernized methods. Georgian University of Science and Technology has three main teaching complexes with sufficient multimedia infrastructure. These are buildings A, B and C and two technology centers, namely the Digital Control Process Technology Center and the Analysis and Testing Center. Building A is the administrative building of the university. It is home to the International Education Office which is in charge of all international students' affairs. Building A is also home to the School of Foreign Languages and the German Chinese School. The buildings also have very large lecturing halls and an auditorium. Building B is located on the hillside of the school and is home of international economics and trade alongside art and design. Most frequently than not, it is here where most of the Chinese language courses are taught. Building C, located in the far eastern side of the university, 
is a home of all the engineering faculties, such as biological and chemical engineering, mechanical and automotive engineering, civil and architectural engineering, only to mention a few. The building is well equipped with facilities particular to engineering. The university has a five-story library with a length of four tennis courts put together located right at the entrance. The library is open seven days a week from 7.30 in the morning to 22.30 in the evening. In order to encourage students to broaden their knowledge base, the library is well equipped with a computer room and over 70 reading rooms fully stocked to capacity with various reading materials. The library is also designed in a way that it has several resting lounges, a mini badminton court and an underground dancing and table tennis hall. ZUST has amazing scenic areas where students can sit and relax. It's naturally endured with undulating hills covered in lush vegetation that gives the place a calm and serene environment that looks particularly gorgeous in spring. Other part-time activities such as wooden golf, also known as mucho, and skating can be achieved on the campus. In an effort to offer a dynamic life for students, ZUST is well equipped with state-of-the-art sporting facilities. Most forms of sports can be achieved on the campus as a football field, badminton, basketball, and volleyball courts are built in different parts of the university. The university has two student unions, the International Student Union, ISU, and the International Culture and Communication Association, ICCA. Welcome to the International Students Union, also known as the ISU. The ISU works in collaboration with the ICCA, the International Cultural Communication Association, and hand in hand with the school at large. This is a union for the students and by the students. The union also ensures that every student develops mentally, physically, and socially. Also, the ISU ensures that there's a strong, reliable bridge between the students and the administration's offices. The ISU is also in charge of organizing cultural exhibitions, the tag of war, the talent show, and the Go Green campaign. So remember to join the ISU as you come to ZUSD. Our location is in Tingsang, 4th Building, Room 220. Hoping to see you there. On the other hand, the International Cultural Communication Association also works in hand in hand with the ISU on the Department and Institute of International Education and it was founded in 2008. In the past few years, the ICC has held a variety of cultural and recreational activities for the students in the university to enrich the students' life. One of the significant ones is the International Cultural Exhibition in which international students from groups according to their countries and they showcase their various cultures and the traditional cuisine. So don't forget to bring one or two things that represent your country when you come here. See you when you get here. Hey everybody, my name is Jenny Lee Case. Right now I'm going to present you the second international student dormitory, which is about five minutes walking distance from the main campus. So come on in, let's have a look. This building has about seven floors, but we have to the fourth floor now where I'm going to show you how the rooms look like. So follow me. My room was just a plain normal dormitory, so I decided to make a name on my wall to put my country flag on the wall and some wallpaper just to make it a bit girly. Let's get, a, let's get to the important stuff. 
So, the single rooms in this dormitory cost 700 RMB per month. The double rooms cost 350 RMB per month. These amounts have to be paid in intervals of four months. So every four months you have to pay your rent and you have to pay it four months in advance. And then when you arrive at the university, you have to pay 1,000 RMB for deposit, for your room deposit. As long as you don't damage any furniture, you get your deposit back. Then again, you have to pay an electricity fee of 1,000 RMB. This electricity fee can last you over about six to about a year. As long as you don't, you have to just switch off your air con and stuff like that. It's, as long as you save, then it can last you a long. So in China, we're not allowed to clean tap water. So this is a water dispenser that the school is going to provide this part of the water dispenser to you and you have to buy this part, the seven hour and downstairs at the lady. Then the school also provides us with two cupboards. There is one and this is one. So since I live by myself, I turned one into a little kitchen and then the other one into like a little study type of thingy with a little bit in here. And then, yeah, I mean, these are the wardrobes. They come two wardrobes. So I am I am a hoarder. So I have so many clothes. I, I like, there's a lot, a lot of storage space. So I just thought some things in there. The best part about this room is that it comes with a balcony. Like, this is amazing. After a long day of studying, you can just come up here and chill on a hot sunny day. You can enjoy nature. You can enjoy the sun. And when you're doing laundry, this is where we hang our clothes. Like, this is where you hang your clothes after you do your laundry. And then the sun just helps you, just makes your clothes dry for you. When it comes to internet here, the internet is unlimited. All you have to do is buy yourself a router from one of the stores downstairs. And then go to a mobile home, get your SIM card connected, and then you're ready to use your internet. So this is our kitchen. This is where all international students come together and cook different food. In this area, we have a microwave, we have an oven, and then we have hot plates. These hot plates don't come with plates and cutlery, so unfortunately, you'll have to buy those things yourself. And then, these are sinks. This is where you're required to wash your dishes once you're done cooking. This area has to be kept clean at all times, so please abide to the rules. So this is our laundry room. We have five washing machines in here. This is the washing machine and this is the machine where you insert the coins. You have to insert two to four coins depending on how long you want to wash your clothes. It goes about from 20 minutes to 40 minutes. This is our reception area. This is where we meet the mother of our boy. We call her our Ai. Ai means aunt in Chinese. Ni hao Ai. From Ai, you can get your water, you can get your shower cards, and just things you need whenever something's wrong in your room. On the same floor, we have a table tennis table where you can come play tennis with your friends and or you meet some new people. It's a very social area, especially at night. Now I'm gonna show you the gym and the canteen. So come along. Two minutes away from building 7, we have a fully stocked gym with the best equipment. All you have to do is pay an amount of 500 RMB for a full year's membership and nothing more. The gym is open 7 days a week from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. With all the delicious food we eat here in China, it's always good for you to keep your body fit and healthy and active. Furthermore, the gym has a dancing studio where several dancing classes are offered seven days a week such as Zumba, Salsa, Yoga and many more. Just below the gym we have a canteen that serves delicious cuisines. As compared to other eating places, the prices of the food in the canteen is relatively cheap and convenient for our students. The canteen offers breakfast, lunch and dinner. So now that I've told you all about Building 7, I'm just going to give you like a brief information about what we're surrounded by. We're surrounded by hair salons, supermarkets, a beautiful, beautiful cyber cafe right there. It's so awesome guys, you guys should go there. We have food markets and it's just a lovely environment to be around. People are always playing basketball. So now I'm going to hand over to Chanta who is going to show you the other dormitory and play basketball with my friend. Bye!
Okay, so I'm here to drive you through and show you how the buildings and the dormitories in Tingsong look like after seeing what Dome 7 has to offer. I'm, I'm sure you'll be amused in what you see here in Tingsong. So follow me and I'll drive you through. So Tingsong has four buildings, building one, building two, building three, and building four. Currently we're in building four. First floor, room 101. And in this room, this room is equipped with several utensils that may be useful. Uh, some study tables, a television set, um, some shelves, equipped with an AC for those cold winters and uh, very hot summers, you know, that, that, that we get to experience in China. And the beds, I must say, are very comfortable. I love the beds here because, trust me, when I'm asleep, I do take one nice long nap and wake up feeling relieved. So, Tingsong has a lot to offer. The TV sets, it has stools. It has a water dispenser as well, you know, that also comes with the fridge and a wardrobe where each and every person get to, can get to put their clothes. Now coming to the accommodation and the fees, Tingsong, the, the rooms in Tingsong have got different fees. Fees may vary. The single rooms are going for 1200 The shared rooms, one like this one, this is a shared room, is going for 600 per person. You get to share it with different people or with, with a different person from another country. That way you get to make friendship. For students that love to keep fit, Tingsong has a gym right in the heart of Building 4 on the first floor. The gym is open from 6 to 4 p.m. and you know, we get to keep fit and just live a healthy life. Uh, the gym has is quick equipped with a lot of accessories. It has some dumbbells, it has a treadmill, it has the bike, but my most favorite ride is the dumbbells, you know, because I get to lift and work on my biceps, just make it look a little bit good, make it look a little bit easy. But trust me, workouts are never easy. So follow me, I'll take you to the next room. Okay, so welcome to the other part of the gym. This part of the gym is the gym machine. This gym machine work, gets to work on different parts of your body. But my most favorite part is when I'm working out and stretching out my arms and everything. Right? Yes. Trust me, you get to love Tingsong when you come to see it, you know, because nothing is better than Tingsong and Doha. The rooms and the dormitories are the best, trust me. Welcome to the cooking area here in Tingsong. A little bit similar to the one in Doha. The, our kitchen area also has a microwave, has the e-plate running. Um, the school has set up a few rules and regulations, you know, that, 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 that help you save you know, your money, you don't get to spend, like you don't have to cook in your room. You can buy your own food stuff so that it helps you save a lot of money. And after you're done with your cooking, you can wash your dishes in the sink area. And that way you get to keep the place clean and you know, just yourself with hygiene. So from here, this is what we have to offer. We're in the washrooms now, you know, where we get to do our laundry. So this place is also equipped with washing machines, just like Dome 7 you know, where you get to do your laundry. And the modes of washing are the same, just like Doha. You know, you get to insert three quarter. Uh, depending on the amount of clothes that you're washing, you get to insert some coins there, and it, it, it gets to increase with the number. When you get to put your laundry, and after you're done, you know, you can wait for about 30 minutes or 20 minutes, and your laundry is gonna be done, and you can get to hang it on the top floor. So, I mean, laundry, easier said than done, you don't have to stress with washing and using your hands and the like. Okay, so currently we buy the things on Square. A lot of events get to take place here, you know, barbecues, chills. On a bright and sunny day like this, you expect most students to play soccer right here. And when they're playing soccer, you know, you get people get to watch, others get to barbecue, others just get to sun bask. So this is the things on Square. Trust me, a lot of events take place here. I'll show you, I'll take you up to Kafu and show you what happens there. Okay, so this is Kafu Town where we get to buy, you know, one of the many things that we may need, like foodstuffs, you know, plates and the like. This place has got three stations. There's a place where you get to do your stationery, the foodstuffs and just the chill zone where you get to relax. So I'll drive you through the places that we have. Just follow me. This is the other part of Kafu Town where you get to chill and relax and just have a fun time. You know, most people get to come study here because it's, it's quite a quiet place, you know. Everything that happens here is really kind of different. It's got a nice setup where you can chill, relax, if you want to have fun with your friends or just have a little chat, Skype or anything like that, you can come. And most people get to leave their remarks, you know, about the school, about the place, and these walls. So my comment is somewhere here. Ah, 
There it is, that's my comment right there. So this is Kapu Town where a lot of things get to happen. This is a school cafeteria area, you know, where uh, over a thousand students come to feast and have lunch, you know, even have the dinner here at times. So a lot of, you know, great cuisines are prepared here, mostly Chinese cuisines, but trust me, those Chinese cuisines are great. So this is a school cafeteria area. And we have some ATMs over there, you know, when you want to, you know, withdraw or you feel like you're running out of money, the ATMs are just directly there within the school cafeteria. Okay, so after you have seen everything that Dongha and Tixong has to offer, trust me, the security both here and Dongha is very tight. We have 24-hour surveillance, you know, CCTV that watches over us, you know, the, the, the school security is very tight. And the classes are quite close by, if you're staying in Tixong, as you see from the buildings just there, those are, the, those are some of the classes close by, so you wouldn't be late for class, you know, when it's raining or when it's cold or when it's hot. So, Tixong, Dongha, it's a home away from home. Very safe, very comfortable, and very secure. From me to the CJR Modest, signing out and saying God bless you. Upon arrival at the university, the first thing that you should do is go for a medical checkup. If students arrive during the registration period, the university helps facilitate the medical checkup. It is therefore advised to carry all your medical documentation. Secondly, students should take very seriously their visa and residence permit. Students should pay particular attention to their validity and reapply for extension a week before expiration, otherwise a fine has to be paid. When it comes to banking, there are several banks in option for students such as Standard Chartered Bank, Citibank, HSBC which offer different cash services such as Western Union and MoneyGram. It's better to apply for a Union Pay bank card from any bank so as to avoid any problem with payment at the university. To access blog sites such as Facebook, it's better to download a VPN before coming here so as to avoid any problems accessing any sites once you're here. Also, an English Chinese translator might be very helpful when you just arrive. In case of any health problem or emergency, there is a hospital named Chishio Hospital located just two minutes drive from the school. ZUSD gives payment facility by providing insurance cards allowing students to pay for their medical treatment at lower costs. Also, ZUSD has its own clinic providing good and reliable services to students for any problem. About a 5 minutes drive from ZUST is the in-city mall that has many services from food courts to cinemas and to shopping areas. It is here where you can find most of the international restaurants such as Pizza Hut, KFC, Subway, Starbucks, only to mention a few. And when it comes to shopping, it has several clothing shops such as Nike, Adidas, Tommy Hilfiger, ETC. In your spare time, there are several things to do close to the campus, such as going for movies, KTV, ice skating, and even swimming. For easy transportation, Hanjo has an extremely well-developed transportation system ranging from subways, trains, to public buses and cabs. The easiest and most popular way to travel is to use the public transport. And for convenience purposes, it is advised to buy a travel card that you can use to pay for almost all the modes of transportation. The buses have various code names depending on their destination, but on average you have to pay only 3 RMB either using cash or bus cards. It must also be noted that different buses have got different operating hours. The public cabs have an electric billing machine that stipulates how much you have to pay upon arrival at your destination, but they have an initial fee of 11 RMB. On the other hand, most students opt to buy electric bikes to facilitate their day-to-day -day movements. E-bikes are bikes with an inbuilt rechargeable motor and come in different designs. Bicycles are also used by a lot of students in the university. Hanzhou, located in Zhejiang province, is a top destination in China which is rich in different tourist attractions of different kinds, offering all types of recreation. 
The natural landscapes and the cultural landscapes are the two main parts of the tourist attractions. The most significant of these is the West Lake. The West Lake, a UNESCO named World Heritage Site 2011, provides for boat riding and long, relaxing walks at the water edge. Jejun Province is very beautiful and is filled with amazing skyscrapers. It is one of the nicest and less populated provinces in China. You will definitely enjoy your stay here. So here we are. Oh, I'm so looking forward to my stay here. It will surely be memorable. Okay, let's go. Where do you see Jejun University of Science and Technology in 10 years' time? Now we have more than uh, 1,500 international students. So three years later, this number will become 2,000, more than 2,000 international students on the campus. If I predict the future of the UST, I'm quite uh, uh, optimistic. I'm quite optimistic. I think the university will become better and better and the future of the university will, will become an excellent international university in China or in the world. Hi, my name is Dibude Mako. I'm from DRC, Democratic Republic of Congo. I'm the former president of International Students Union. Uh, actually, I'm the founder of, of this union just academic life but even the social life the social life I I had the chance to travel into countries different countries because of this school because of this uh, people that I met here the school the teaching really good it's really good it's really good experience and uh, this school has been part of my life and I'm so so grateful Great experience.